Good morning, Winnie Pooh. How are you today? Are you having a good day, sir? You know what? My breakfast is going to be a little bit better than yours, I think. I'm excited because the Healthy Chew has prescribed me high doses of proteins and fats. Is that correct? Oh, I'm so gross right now. Yes, that is what I prescribed. Proteins and fats. So, I've got leftover birthday dinner steak and avocado for breakfast. I'm not sure it gets a whole lot juicier than that right there. That's like a, that's like a nice juicy half ounce black and blue jig with a pork chunk on it for a big old sow belly bass. Mmm. I'm excited about it, if you can't tell. It is smaller than mine. Me and Rob got new little cameras. Let's go. We're starting a new trend. Why We're trying so to go tactical. Smaller? Yeah, I like that. Why does your lens look so like? <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to shoot out so long. <laughs> Me and Robert are uh, going on a fishing adventure today. We're trying to pack lighter in these days of adventures. We did not get very far down the road before we hit a Bucky's. You just have to pull in. That's what you have to do. The hippo. Do you know what a hi hippo is? Check this out. Beans, bacon, more beans. Jalapenos, cheese, and eggs. It's all there, folks. What? You got me water. Did we not? Here, here's your water. Look, smooth H2O from Smoothie King. Okay. <laughs> is that not good? I don't know who's that is. Oh, no, okay. Mm. I'll get you a fresh one. I appreciate it. I'll get Rob a fresh water. So I'm a fresh friend like that. Hopefully, the audio is a little bit better for you guys today. We got, <laughs> I got these, these little, uh, these little mohawk patch things. These are supposed to help with wind noise, but I accidentally stuck the glue part over the right or left side audio speaker uh, or mic yesterday, so it was probably a little muffled. I apologize. Uh, Willis, he does things. I am so sorry. Guys, I put out the roll window. these windows down. Look at... I'm so sorry. Rob just crunching on oh peanut butter God. right now. Oh my God. Uh, he knows I'm deathly allergic. I, I, forgot. I forgot. I'm just going to hang out here until we get to the lake. Wherever we're going. Right here, I'm gonna put in a contaminated thing. Hold on, sorry truck, I gotta tell them to go around. I'm... I apologize, I have a lot of problems. There we go. It's my fault. They can't, they can't get you now, I'm real sorry. All right, it's, so, it's contained, Damn. just keep it away from my hippo. I feel like a bubble boy. Tumor and peanut butter and cats and. I feel bad for you. Genetically, I'm not. No, you're like a mutant. I need, I, I literally have a mutation in my head. You know what the doctor told me um, when I went in there? Because I was like, what the heck causes these things? He says, well, largely it's just bad luck. <laughs> it's genetic mutation and it's bad luck. And I'm like, oh, okay. They didn't have a payday. I got you an O. Henry. Oh my gosh, what is that? O. Henry. I don't know. I it looked like something you might like. 2000% I was actually kidding. To okay. Peanity. Look, it says Peanity. Peanity. That's a word. Do word. Two Peanity caramel fudge bars and milk chocolate. That just sounds like death to me, is all that sounds like. This is always the struggle. No, it's... this is danger area. Okay, we're good. Dangerous. Wade or cross at your own risk. Boom! We're good. We're good, baby. We're good. Don't even care about. Holy crap. Okay, uh, prohibited activities littering glass, ATVs, golf carts, fire, cutting, burning trees. Cutting and burning trees, so I just can't cut and burn a tree. Okay. It's always a sketchy feeling when you're rolling up to a new place and you're not sure if you can even get in there. That water's gin clear, dude. Yeah, it's very gin, gin clear. clear. We might this might be a fly rod episode. I got no wading boots, no shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, another adventure with Lucas! Oh. Henry, I like you in my mouth. Is that a good Henry? Yeah, Henry's good in my mouth. Alright, this is my first real trip out into the wild, out into the wilderness, and I'm going with lunkers. Gonna be fishing with buddies pretty much up until my surgery. Um, just for safety reasons, this medication, it's, um, it's an anti-seizure medication that I have to take regularly. So this is, this is my first day taking it. So I, it's supposed to like make me irritable. I don't know, but I'm just safety first, safety first out here. We got our meds. Today is going to be a chill day. I'm gonna let Rob go as crazy as he wants to. I'm gonna be a little slow. That's all right. We got key things. Forgot the catfish bait, by the way. Bread, 
wieners, and, wait for it, earthy worms, okay? Look at those juicy fat ones right there. Oh God, that's Look at that one. Mondo. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. We've got gear for striped bass maybe. We've got gear for bluegill and panfish. We've got gear for catfish and carp. Now it's gonna be a hike down there. I've got my fanny pack. We've got some stuff in here. This is just gonna be like my walking around pack, terminal tackle and stuff. We've got a big, it's the, you know, this carries all the stuff so we can adventure the right way. Let's do it to it like Bud Pruitt. Woo, my gosh, if I die out here, you gotta get me back. I got a Sasquatch thing on my shoulder. He's ready. We're ready now. Okay, so footwear, probably not the best choice today. I'm probably gonna blow out another pair of flip-flops today. I think every pair of flip-flops I've blown out with you. I, I what does that say? How cold is it? It's chilly. Ocean Spin Girl's gonna kill me. I just got these flip-flops. I'm not supposed to be wearing them in water. I'm just gonna have to do it. Oh my gosh, this is sketchy. I'm mad at myself for not bringing my five finger shoes. This would have been perfect for it. But we're gonna adapt and overcome here. This water's seriously cool. It's coming out of the bottom of the dam, so it's a nice hot day. This is feeling good. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this is a this is a cool experience. Just being out here. Get out in the outdoors. It feels good. It feels good already just to not be inside. Thinking about brain tumor and insurance and all that other crap. I think I see a path right here. I'm going in it. Yeah, I think we need to rethink. Came down here, I'm literally holding a loaf of bread in one <laughs> hand. I think this is gonna be a fly and light spinning rod situation. Clear water, moving water. I'm gonna probably have to take fish. one of your uh, spinning rods. You can take the Yampa. And then maybe we walk down there. We need to go light. We've got way too much. Just have way too much gear. Probably gonna dump the loaf here. I've been waiting to really kind of learn how to do some fly fishing. I got my butt totally handed to me up in New York last year, trying to fly fish like in the actual streams and do all that. So I'm hoping to educate myself here terrible at sinking flies. That's my, I've done a lot of topwater flies. Is that thunder? That sounded like some good thunder, yeah. All right, well, we're just gonna adapt and overcome here. How's my form? I have no idea. Man. Fishing current with a fly rod. Who am I right now? This actually feels very therapeutic. Oh, oh gosh, I got one. I got, oh my gosh. I had one. I had a fish right there. Literally just watched that fly disappear. That was so cool. Gosh, I felt like a champion right there. I just need to smell a fish. I need to smell some sort of fish in my life. Uh oh, thunder. Oh God. Ah, I had one. He took it. He took my fly. It's starting to rain. No. Ah. Crap. The camera's totally exposed on my backpack. Come on, Willis. Not good. Just probably ruined my sandals. Camera's not waterproof either. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Why? Why every time we go fishing? Look at that. You and I. Soon as we got close, it started raining. Thanks for coming to get me, Rob. Yeah. That was a close one. You don't want to be out in the lightning storm with a uh, nine foot graphite fly rod. <laughs> That's feeling good too. Oh, no, this looks a couple good. of bass, like, bit my bait. Hello. Just took a look out the back. I don't see my fly rod. I'm a little concerned. It's time, time to break out old Big Tex. Oh my 
gosh, dude, what if the fly got caught on your big ass wheel and jerked it out? <laughs> it's a possibility. Oh my god. Oh god, wrong one. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No! No! What happened? I started opening that up. Way! Because I wanted to open up the back window. Okay, so update. <laughs> We had just caught enough water to help us survive the rest of the day. It broke in two. Like, oh it, no. Not like broke, broke, oh, but it, just, the, it broke down. Okay, I was trying to open up this back window right there to see you. And I opened up the bank to see like, what happened. No, I'm just. That's a lot of drops, folks. So I'm going to change, change up. I'm going to go light. I'm just going to go straight up fanny pack with my flies in here. I'm just going to try the fly game. I know, it seems challenging. And I really just want to smell a bass or some sort of fish. Like I haven't I haven't caught anything really since I've gotten Willis. The way the water's running, the way the uh, the nature is presenting the the elements of life, I feel like fly is the key. So let's go catch them. There's these little pool areas that look pretty good. And I don't know if they'll hit this in the moving water too, but Top water's just fun. Got these little popping flies. This is what kind of day it is, yep. Another rainy storm. Wow, me and Rob just can't catch a break today. Oh! Ah, man. Almost had it. Oh! Yeah, they are out there for sure. I'll get one on this little small fly. Oh! Got him! Got him! I got him. You got him? Yeah. What is it? I don't know yet. Oh, it's a bluegie. Blue yeah. Dude, this is this is like my favorite my favorite fly for bluegill like that. Look at that pretty fish. Even though it's a small bluegill, I love that little fly right there for catching bluegill. Shark, chartreuse, little popper. Look at that baby. See ya. Looks like there's quite a few in there. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh. Yes. That one's got a little, got a little umph. I think I got a, a, a strong bluegill here. Oh, that's a big bluegill. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, another fish is chasing it. Wow. Yeah. This is a really, really nice bluegill right here, guys. Look at that guy. Woo -wee. That's a slab. Mm. Man. Kind of amazes me how broad these things can get sometimes. How they're almost taller than they are long. Beautiful fish. And on the fly rod, baby. That was fun. Okay, just got that bluegill. Finally got the first fish of the day. Feels good. Get the monkey off the back. Oh, Rob's got some contraption. Some crazy contraption right here. I haven't cooked on this yet. Hopefully this thing doesn't just catch on fire. We've been burning some calories, so I think Rob's gonna cook a little something. I know, I wish you needed to catch fire. I think that might have done it right there. Ooh, baby. What's on the menu? I forgot. Chili Mac, maybe? Chili Mac? Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. That's a, that's the best, best flavor. MRE, what are we, what are we eating here? It's pretty much the same thing, yeah. Yeah. Ocean Spoon Girl proved there's a bass right there. What? You see him? All right, fishing freaks. Let me just explain to you this, this thing that Rob has. It's really pretty neat. So it's a cooking device, but it also has a battery which runs a fan which increases the fire. Also charges your iPhone or whatever you got. It's got a USB port you can charge on there with a, a heat shield on it so you don't burn your battery and blow yourself up. Rob just put some boiling hot water off of that thing into this freeze dried beef stew. So trying to keep the calories up, keep it going. And uh, we're gonna have some nice beef stew here on the shoreline. You gotta think about like this is this is like this is awesome fishing. You don't have to take a break. 
It is pretty yeah, neat. I mean, you don't have to leave. I mean, you're like, now we can go up and finish our day. You know, we're like 16 hours from home, no big deal. You gotta refuel when you're out there. No question about it. You know what kind of guys we are right now? What? We're the kind of guys that are wearing the sandals with socks. No, the ones with the straps and the toes around the arm. Oh, yeah, you know what you are? Because since you just bought that backpack, you're you're like the you're like the homeless dude under the bridge in Austin, Texas. That he makes a really good living. He just likes to be homeless looking. <laughs> that's, that's such a real thing. Too. <laughs> we play a game when we go through Austin. It's called uh, homeless or hipster. We don't really know. But anyways, we're gonna get fueled up with some good uh, beef stew inside of a bag, and then we're gonna continue. Calories up, fishing confidence up. See, somebody's already been eating here. 14 grams of protein. It's still really, really hot. That's probably good. Here, do you wanna use a bowl? Oh, uh, I'm gonna just gonna eat it out of the bag. Now it's good. Now it's yeah, good. it looks like it's squishy now. Oh, looks like dog food. I'm imagining we're just up on a mountaintop right now. We're not. We're not. We're, we're, we're probably a good 30 miles from the nearest McDonald's though, so. Testing this out. This stuff is super, super hot. It was potatoes, carrots, and freeze-dried beef. Wow, for a freeze-dried meal, that's not bad. Oh. I think it's actually better than, um, it kind of has a hint of like that, the canned Chef Boyardee feel. So what the outdoors is all about right here, guys. Sitting with your bag of freeze-dried food you got at a hippie store, <laughs> hanging out with your buddies. Rod just dabbling in the water, hoping for the next bite. If you don't like doing this, I can't help you with life. It's a good escape. It makes you feel more human-like. I like to feel like a good fisher human, outdoor human. Makes me feel alive and well. There's a two and a half pounder cruising right in front of us as I sit down with my back. There's two of them? What? I'm not, I'm not even gonna stand up, I don't wanna spook them. Boy, that is how it goes. You sit down to enjoy your meal, and then the biggest bass you see all day just comes, sits, cruises right in front of you. Oh, I got him. Bluegill. Definitely got some healthy ones in here. Oh yeah, look at that fat daddy. Mmm, got that little bull head on there. Really cool. See my friend? I don't know if it looks like a corn kernel or whatever, but they like it. Yeah. Man. This is harder work than I was expecting. Well, folks, that's what you call a doozy of a day. Boy, just getting back in was was rough. Like the trudge through the waters. Ah, I was not expecting to fish that hard. That is absolutely 120% the hardest I've ever fished for three bluegill. However, those were three of the biggest, well two of them were, two of the biggest bluegill I've ever had. And just getting out there with the fly rod, trying to learn that, was pretty therapeutic. Oh, oh geez. It's time to depart. Rob, thank you for taking me home, my friend. Yeah, it's kinda like a date. It was kinda like a date, it was a a date by the river, and you made me lunch. And I made you lunch. In the little biotronic pot, or whatever it's called. Time to head in and see Ocean Spin Girl and Winnie Pooh. Winston, are you, are you snuggled up? There you are, you're sleepy. You've been sleeping, my boy. Yes, you have. Did he get a peppermint bath? He smells like a peppermint patty. That was some fly fishing. Fly fishing, I, I was learning. I was trying new things. Winnie Pooh, I need to look like you. I just need to be a... And you got chocolate cake. And chocolate cake, Ooh. yeah! All right, y'all, I am gonna grab some grub. Today didn't quite turn out to be, I wanted to, I wanted to smell that bass. I am still yet to 
grab that bass and smell it for the first time after having Willis discovered in my head, but I did catch three really nice bluegill today, and I learned how to fly fish, and it was an adventure. It was fun. It was fun scenery to look at, new place to be, so that was good. Now, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different tomorrow. I'm going to take you guys along with me for a trail run in the morning. We're going to stay after the fitness and the balance, and we might do a little bit of fishing as well, but it's mostly just going to be a fitness and family day, so stay tuned for that, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're doing this all the time. I'm taking my new little camera with me everywhere and taking you along with me for the ride. So we'll see you tomorrow.